Go, quick, you get it. Yeah. You 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 hold it. You have plenty of time. Scoring ready. Get your peroxide, your band aids. We're getting into that scarred stuff. Let's get scarred. <laughs> get scarred. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to the not so much but us show the show where our opinion is a better version of what you should believe today is may 2 it is a thursday it is 2019 <laughs> i wish my name was jonah candy because that's a cool name it really is i love the last name candy with k however it is matt Push up. And I'm Tim Lemke. I'll tell you what, Matt. Nick Fury got his eyes scarred by what a Flurgan, and then Scar from Lion King is was scarred. So I guess they call him Scar. And tonight, I don't think we're gonna be. I don't think you're gonna be feeling the impact. You're not gonna be feeling scarred with our review for Eddie Lingle scarred, which I believe it was originally. Though it was like you said, Candyland, correct? I think originally it was is that the what, original title was supposed to. I think it, not 100 percent sure on that. One. I I want to think that Eddie Lingle said it was supposed to be Candyland, and then you know something happened. But anyways, Scarred is the name of the movie. But we're reviewing tonight. We had a rough start, guys, and, and even funnier. It's we're, right where we're about to start. We're like dealing with some of the issues and uh, local writer and director. That's right, local from it's an Ohio area guy, Ohio area talent. Yeah, uh, Eddie Lingle. Uh, he contacted us, and he's like, when are you guys starting? And it's like, you know, that's the question people ask a lot. We, he cares, when, though, man. When are he, you starting? He cares. So thank you for taking interest, Eddie, and, like, finding out what's going on with us. Yeah, man. Appreciate that. Well, before before we get into this, let's talk about everything that everyone likes to talk about. <laughs> no, it's not any game. It's social media. Uh, <laughs> social media, man, is everywhere, and we have it. You know, we do have Instagram and Twitter because if we didn't, I guess we wouldn't fit in, but Instagram is cool because we post random things. Tim's lawn, Tim's ankles, random reviews um, of movies that we don't have time or shows that we don't have time to to do right here in the studio. So we do them on there. Also, I was super excited the other day. I called Tim like Tim. I know how to put short clips of our live show on Instagram, and you guys are probably like you're an idiot. Yeah, you just record the thing, but like it just never hit me. Anyways, you can see that on there too. Short little cl clips, teaser clips, basically of the live show, which is awesome. Twitter's, tw you know, it's Twitter. We retweet and we do polls because that's what we do on Twitter. That's what everyone does on Twitter. Uh, no original content. But that's all right because that's the way it goes. Facebook, you're here. Matt and Tim, letter N between Matt and Tim. We don't know, you don't know. It's just the way it goes. Uh, it's it, not so much about our show, but our names are there, and then there's a random letter N. It could mean a lot of things, um, but we're not sure. I, I, maybe it means Nebula. Maybe Nebula will be there one day, and that's fine. And then the exciting thing, ActiveAtticStudios.com. That's right. A lot of fun things there. Uh, reviews, written reviews, all the videos, all the sh live shows will be posted there uh, the next day, maybe two days at most. So you can go see them there. I wrote a fun review today. Uh, the Gotham series finale review. It got posted. Interesting stuff. Joker's awesome, but that's not what we're here to talk about. But that's it. It, it is in the written review. So a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff out there. We're everywhere because everyone is everywhere in 2019. Too. That's the way it goes. Is that how it goes? Yeah, I think so. I'll do a schedule really quick so you guys know what's going on for tonight. This is the schedule. Tonight, May 2nd, 
Scarred Review, an Eddie Lingle film. Eddie Lingle's a uh, local writer and director. It's an Ohio guy right there. And we appreciate this. He got this movie to us. He actually had it delivered to our house so we can review it, and we appreciate that so much. Saturday, May 4th, free comic book day, people. May the 4th be with you. Go get some you know, free merch, some free comic book. Go buy some merch, you know, support your local your local creators. Uh, we'll be, it'll be us at North Coast Nostalgia at Ridge and Snow Road. If you get off the 480 exit at Ridge in the suburb of Parma, right outside of Cleveland, you get off that 480 Ridge Road exit, you go south on Ridge Road, you're gonna hit Snow and Ridge, and right there you're gonna see North Coast Nostalgia. Adam will be there, Matt will be there, I'll be there, comic books will be there, and they'll be free, at least some of them, not all of them. But that is May 4th, that's Saturday. Did you write that down? No. <laughs> Yeah. I, I just kind of read and then this, you know. It, You're like about to go in the quantum realm giving the speech. <laughs> Sunday, May 5th, Shazam! <laughs> Review, <laughs> comic book day, right. And there'll be a comic book day giveaway, which is a. Uh, uh, How dare you. It's, it's a draining from May 4th. Like it's stuff that will happen on May 4th, and then we'll be giving away stuff on the show. Uh, we'll be drawing names that people put in on May 4th, free comic book day. We'll be drawing those names. On our Shazam review, Shazam, Shazam review, Shazam review, comic book day giveaway Sunday, May fifth. Oh, let's get on to a triple shot. I love this triple shot, by the way. Oh, jeez. I, lo I love, I love, I love a lot of things about this movie. I love that it's not Endgame. Let me say something really quick about this shot, Tim. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something really Let quick me, about this. Okay. No, keep the shot here. Yeah. No, I'm gonna keep the I shot. I like that we're both in the black. Okay. And you have your red, and you notice over my left shoulder here we have red. Oh, I like what you're doing there, Tim. Thank you. There I, has to be a term for that. Do you know what's it's weird? One, I wore my Endgame shirt like for 10 episodes, and I always wear that shirt. But I have like six shirts I wear on the show because color is like super important to these damn cameras. So I always wear red or black you hats. You explain these things to me, Tim. Yellow and green, you know it, man. Yeah, I, I got people it. know it. Well, you know what else? Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're doing it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Okay, Tim. I don't know about you. I don't know if you did this or not. Um, really quick, Roger Connors is here. We know Roger Connors. Roger Connors, nice man. Little, uh, he, so he was in uh, uh, Mother Mother Krampus. Krampus. Too. I I'm think a, is he is he also is he Mother also Krampus in? in a, and we're gonna be reviewing. It's not on the schedule yet, but I believe the Thursday May 9th, If we get it in the we went to Walmart to pick up uh, American Poltergeist, uh, Curse of Lilith, Ratchet. They did not have it. They don't carry it in their store at our location. So we are ordering it, and I did order it. Okay. So if we get it on time, we'll be reviewing okay. that movie, that an Eddie Lingle movie, on night. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Roger Connors, are you in that movie? I know you're in a lot of Eddie Lingle films. You were in Mother Krampus 2. You did an awesome job. I love the scene where you did the karaoke scene. Remember that? Yeah. That's oh, hilarious. Yeah, the best. That's awesome. So he's, now, uh, so he's joining right now. David McKee is here. He says, oh, man, I finally made it. We got Jamie and Josh. <laughs> we finally made it too, buddy. And some. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Yeah, we did. And then some names that I'm not going to butcher. So... It's awesome. We have a nice little crowd, and we're talking Scarred. We're talking the Eddie. How do you, last name? Eddie Angle? Or I, I say Langle. It's okay. like L-E-N-G-Y-E-L. All right, David just joined. Eddie Langle directed and, and wrote this. And we're still working through. We're multicasting on YouTube. But if we go out, our our, our go-to now is we drop oh, YouTube true. because no one's ever on YouTube. Yeah. Man, so we'll true. drop it. But we are currently on YouTube and Facebook. It doesn't seem to usually be an issue when we test it three times every day. Makes then, sense. You know, when we go broadcast it. Ooh, yeah. I mean, that's Anyways, just, that's, man. I mean, that's, hmm, I think that's the way it goes. Okay, but yeah, like... Scarred, man. Directed and written by Eddie Langle, Angle, like Tangle, you... my thing. So, <laughs> so, I don't know, I got carried away. Well, you told me some, two things are interesting to me off the bat, Tim. Okay. You liked it better than Mother Krampus 2. I, I think I agree. Not saying that movie's bad. It's kind of like my, well, remember my first issue I talked about how I made a, a, it's kind of a stupid thing, and Eddie Lingle kind of, uh... Hey, wait, wait, quick, keep this shot. Okay, I'll keep it. I'm not moving it. When is that shot? Did you I miss what, this? Do you know what's funny? I Now, Eddie, tell us. We got these shots from your IMDb. Okay. Damages from the It's funny. I know who that is. Yeah. We but, are now following her on Instagram. Right. Uh, <laughs> I, some, I have Some it. of the images, though, are uh, disoriented. Her, I know her last name's different now. I don't remember. I'd have to, I'd have to look it up, but it's Julianne something. Okay, here you can do all. The so when I when I saw, but that pitch, I okay, don't I'll remember. I don't remember that. I don't either. I thought too because it's it's very dominant. It's and movie. when I saw her on Instagram, I was like, is she in the movie? And I because she she's is. the main page when you go to IMDb. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Like right. right above Scars. So maybe we're mistaken, but I try to follow what IMDb shows. Do you know this actress? Is that the? Uh, it makes me feel very important. 
Is this one right here? Yeah, I like I like our picture our picture and picture being coddled and. Oh yeah. Cause uh, see if you move this here, if we move this over, watch and we do this. Do, 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 do. And then we're gonna see. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think I get them mixed up a little bit. I think so. The oh, go back to it. the other girl. Okay. So the girl in the jean skirt is Jessica Lucian. Yeah. All right, so that was her crushing it. I Sorry guys, we just enjoyed the movie, and then we come back and we try to get the names right later. We do, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, really quick, we have uh, Clay is here. Hey Clay, what's David, up, man? Uh, David McKee says, he recently saw Krampus, but he didn't see the second one, so Eddie didn't do the first one, but he did do the second one. You're right, correct. I watched the first one, that was terrible. Uh, I, I really didn't like it. Look at there he is, man. There, is, there he, he is, is, man. Jonah Candy. Dude. The killer. I want to ask Eddie, and I, I'm, I'm hoping he's fine. Okay, I'm still waiting for him to join. Um, I sent it to him, so he should be joining any minute now. I want to know a couple things. Okay. Because I know with Mother Krampus 2, he didn't have any budget, and he right. made it happen, which is phenomenal. I just want to know if he had a budget in this movie. I also want to know um, inspirations. I love hearing inspirations. Because when yeah. I, I actually watched this trailer before I watched the movie. Yes. And and I noticed off the bat, I'm like, wow, it's, it's, it's like Chainsaw Massacre meets a, uh, a tiny bit of like... Friday the 13th kind of thing going on and I'm like I can get into it now I'll be honest the first thing I thought of when I saw the trailer was it actually looked the trailer just the trailer looked like a remake of Texas Chainsaw just the trailer so then I was like but I can get into it you okay. know like I love horror movies I don't really care what it looks like but that's right. just my opinion so then then I, I got I, I Amazon Prime by the way if you have Amazon Prime Scarred is on there part of Prime and you can watch That's it. That's nice to know. It's, I'm sure a little flat ratchet too I could just get on Amazon Prime. Might be. I, I have to check that one. So, but anyway, so as I watch the movie, starts off for 20, 25 minutes in, it's not Chainsaw Massacre. I could see, I could see inspirations, not just because of the chainsaw, but like, he was a child who got abused, who wasn't in the right state of mind, who, what, what did happen to him? What, is his, what did his dad do when he was a kid? He didn't shoot him. Did he? Uh, he I shot his mom. He shot himself. Did he show him saw wasn't he sawing in the, in the video clips? Well, he's sawing. No, 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 he's sawing the. Uh, he, yeah, 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 yeah. So he abuses his 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 teenager basically, and he becomes this as he grows up. And the neighborhood thinks he's dead, but he is just kind of this creepy dude with a bunch of weapons that likes to torture people. Yeah. Especially, which is funny, I didn't know. Did you know this? It wasn't until the end I heard, I don't know if someone said it, said it or if it was in the credit, but it was at the end. He doesn't like people prettier than him. No, yeah, she, because she echoes it too. She yeah. did say that. Uh, that was it. Now, what the hell are you doing? That was like, uh, I loved it. That was, it's I, 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 lo I loved it. Right away, it's it's, it's three points on, on, right. the, on the score. I wish someone would have said it in like the middle of the movie. You, right away, you, when you're a director or a writer and you, you come up with, if you came up with that first, there's your movie. That's a great catch for I love that there's a rule. Because it's just like it's honestly, really, it's I don't just... know, God, I wish I had this shot here. So this is great. I, I think the I think the photographer in the movie, right away, the campiness yeah. of this is beautiful. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Four four gorgeous models go into the woods with a dude that's gonna shoot him a you know, a photographer, and then the pretty ones are gonna die. Right. And, and the photographer, it's even funny because I didn't told April, I said he's one of those unique characters too that pops out where he can be in other movies because he has a unique face. And I was saying, I'm like, he's got the pretty hair. And then when he got killed, I'm like, this is great. Because I said, he's pretty. And I said, and she says it, right? Before he gets killed, doesn't she say it again? Or it echoes. And I just love that. That's a great, that's a powerful poster. That's a powerful anything. He only kills people that are pretty, right? Oh, it's great. Yeah. yeah it's, I, love I love the it. premise. It's, yeah, it's a little simple, but it's fun. No, it's super fun. It's, it's it, super fun. Super fun. So, yeah, man. I mean, it was uh, really enjoyable. Easy. When I say easy watch, I mean I was never really bored because of the campiness, right? right? It's so entertaining. You know, low budget movies, they they are what they are, but done right, they're they're so so entertaining. Absolutely, man. And for me, this one was one of them to me that was that was done right. I mean, it was exactly what I was expecting when I watched the trailer and when, uh, well, mostly besides the massacre comparison, when I watched the trailer read the quick synopsis <laughs> you just i mean four models go to a campground with a photographer like right. you said and then and then they die basically by someone who's tortured and in, in neighborhood like uh, neighborhood uh, myth or uh you know uh not legend what is it called 
Ur- oh, Urban Legend. Yeah. Yes. There you go. The fantastic say- man. I mean, it was. It was exactly what I wanted to see, you know? And the acting standing, and it's funny, my wife always says this, and I agree with it 100%. It's my favorite thing about these kind of movies. Just enough campiness and quirky characters, man. I love quirky characters on top, on top of quirky oh, yeah. characters. I think George? I think his name was George. George, yeah. And on top of quirky characters, I love, 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 love the usage and humor of great swearing. Dude, we were talking about this before. Like, right when I sat in here, I don't remember exactly what, I'm not quoting exactly, but doesn't he come out of the woods and say something like, he's like, he's got a, he's got a fucking ogre and a midget in that barn or something like that. And I told my wife's like, this is great. And, and, and we were saying before this, the best way to review this movie is I was tired when I started watching it. I never doze off. Right. Never doze off. That's, I mean, what does that tell you right there? Right. Right there. It, it's a, that's a perfect review. Cause I, I doze off for, through every CW show that's on. I doze off for, God, man, I dozed off through Age of Ultron multiple times. He, he, this movie it keeps stopped the, me from fertilizing. <laughs> yeah, it's a true story. Like, so your grass is like just dying right now because of Eddie Langle's film and all the people in it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's worth Way to lo- ruin the world, people. Way to, <laughs> he's he's ruining it. He's not even, he's ruining it on how to. No, I, so the other thing we mentioned, love the soundtrack. Yeah. The, the soundtrack I, is perfect. I say it was 20 minutes in and I told, I told my wife, I said, if, if the, if the if the video if the cinematography holds up this well and the music alone, this movie's gonna be pretty solid. Perfect. Right. Yeah. Perfect. However, you got all those local with their local artists. If you just like spent a lot of time getting, it was it was the movie just drove man, and the movie's pretty blatant. I like it. It's actually pretty. I can't say it's a, it's not really jump scary for me. Not that much of it, but I just love the blatant killing man. Mm-hmm. I mean, just, I really do. For me, it's just it's healthy. It's oh, happy. It's great. it's great. What was your favorite kill? Come on, favorite death, oh, no, favorite dude. kill. Oh, the end. Right at the end, that's a beautiful scene. Man, on the top. I, oh wait, wait, wait. Which one? I like to. I like to. I like the chainsaw through the wall. Like the shaking. That, and the, is that what you're talking about right now? Yeah. Okay. Or, yeah. Or yeah. on the car. Or the car. The car death. When she's in front of the car. I like that one. I like. There's a lot of. There's great deaths. They really surprised me. Eddie Langley shocked me. I did not. My expectations were exceeded on new deaths I haven't seen. Like even the chainsaw that's through the wall. Point, yeah. Well, that I say that's. That was a very well shot, really well shot choreography. You know, I would say, I liked it. I would say all the deaths never. I never expected it. Like you just said, when he was towards the end, he in the wall, stuck in the wall. Right. I thought he was gonna come out with the chainsaw and just cut his head off. It looked like an execution. Like that's how it looked like it was being set up. Yeah. And instead, he just. I'm not too sure. I'm not really sure that, where he put it. That's how. That's how you feel, man. Like when you're watching this, like. Oh yeah, yeah. That's too scary. Anyways, that's not it. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure where the chainsaw went, but I know it was like a spine, uh, backside. Oh. It looked terrible. It, it was a, and it was a pretty intriguing shot. I have to say, it's pretty intriguing because like you see the chainsaw come to the wall, and then you see his guy was like freaking out. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, I kind, I kind of thought it was leaning towards. I'm like, man, this is gonna be a kind of a cheesy shot. <laughs> and then that last shot was a really well done shot, like him shaking the wall and the close up of the, of his eye. Nice job. I mean, really, because if you guys know, last pro- time... Pro- honestly, probably one of the best best shots in the movie. Mother Krampus 2, I had a lot more criticisms for. I was just happy to watch this movie. I, I don't want to over, over gush yeah. for it, but I was I'll really... I'll tell you what, Tim. I'll, t- I'll, I'll tell you what. There's people online picking it apart for stupid things like, well, the audio... Okay, if I want to get that into picky, but it's, right. it's a campy again. movie that flowed well, and the music was great, and the shots were unique. I thought it was great. Right. Ooh, and then, yeah, I mean... Again, you, I, I I'd love to ask Eddie like when budget. you're doing these yeah budget you have to you have to pick and choose right you know what is most important and you go from there. No, audio was it's something I well, did right because and here's the thing you know. especially when you're talking about like color correction and audio if you're gonna pay people to finalize some of that stuff that could be more than the whole film cost if you're talking mm-hmm. low budget I and mean, that mm-hmm. stuff costs. So when you have a small group of people putting this much work in, I thought I was extremely impressed with the quality of the, the right. film. So how cool is it, man? Let's talk about this. Ari Lehman, playing playing Austin. Okay. Uh, the original little boy from I was pumped from Friday the Thirteenth, drown, drowning in the lake, showing the little boy. April April was the first one to notice it. April noticed right away. She's like, you know that? She's like, he's familiar. I think he's. And I'm like, really? And she looked up right away. And I'm like, oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, how awesome is that, man? Talk about talk about a cool little uh, casting right there. And it was great because they're at like a lake. They go or the movie's a lot, you know, in the campground, Candy Lake or whatever the lake's called. Yeah, Candy Lake. So it's very fitting. I thought that was awesome. Nice little nod there. In this shot right here, you just end gamed it because you're in April now, even though it's May. 
See, this is April. Well, you know, it's the one shot I, I, I noticed. say those words on this show, too. <laughs> Don't start. We do like Endgame. No, 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 no. I mean, <laughs> we, do, we do. Don't. We're not here for that right now. Stephanie's Don't here, start. though. Start. Stephanie's here. She's not here for that either. Stephanie, what's what Stephanie is this? Is there a Stephanie? Mena- 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 Menard. Menard. Hey, hey Stephanie. Menard. Menard. Is that? Hi, Stephanie. She, I think, you know, is, I that, think, is that? Uh, I think she is. Cal Stephanie. A, I think so because I think she does. A, yep. She's a regular. So wait, yeah. I think we'll do regular button. Here it is. Oh, nice. Uh, that was random. Too. <laughs> Sorry, that's stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Stephanie. We should. One minute clapping. We'll just stop. One minute clapping. So, that was your favorite death, though, huh? The, the chainsaw? Uh, I'm trying to think of them. all of them. It's hard. I was sad. We just watched the movie. When did you watch it? I just watched it, like, yes- uh, yesterday. Le- yesterday night. I watched yeah, last, it last night. night. I was sad that the couple that warned them about the campground died. Oh, do I have that couple here? Oh, I wish I had the shot. Maybe I do? Yeah, man. I was sad. I didn't think they were going to get the bullet. I thought they were going to kind of um, just be those warnings and then, uh, be done with it. Yeah, they are, man. Yeah, I love this couple, man. They were great, and <laughs> he was awesome. Like his man, I wish I could think of his lines. I should have watched this movie five times, but he had great lines oh, to man. her. And like, oh, baby, yeah. His yeah. accent was hilarious. Oh, it was oh the best. And it was just this movie so entertaining. This one says him. He tried to help him. Like he tried to help him, man. And this, and this, I, I'm not sure if Eddie's here or not. I'm not. I'm not seeing him. Maybe I'm he just didn't. I mean, we can. Yeah, maybe he doesn't. He maybe he doesn't care. But that's fine. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. I wish he was here because I want to tell him this. And this is this is the God's honest truth. I like God's okay? honest truth, man. Let's hear this. Shit. Hundred percent bold truth. After watching Sazam and Endgame, oh, right. this is exactly the kind of movie I needed in my life. Yeah, well, don't they clear palates at wine tasting? That hour and a half that I spent watching this movie yesterday was like taking three teaspoons of Nyquil when I have a headache. Yeah. It was exactly how I felt yesterday. I was relaxed. Eddie, thank you. Yeah. You don't even understand, Eddie. He you wasn't don't. one of these people that came and said, let's see how complicated we can make the story. No, it was very simple. No, he made it He made it clean. He made it unique. He gave some original perspective that I haven't seen in one of these movies. Yeah. And he's done that. He's done that before, you know? Mm-hmm. It's not like he did. Mother Krampus was the same thing. I think this was just my, more <laughs> my cup of tea. And, man, I got what I wanted. The cover matched the movie. We <laughs> talked about that in Mother Krampus. He did that for you. Hey, I feel bad because he explained like why it happened. But you have to admit, when you see a cover, and it shows Optimus Prime, and then you see the Holocaust, when <coughs> yeah. you watch the movie, you're just not ready for that kind of stuff, you know. I think I have. So hey, we have a we have like a, a okay. canvas in our house that has these woods on it. Oh, here, Matt's got a canvas in his house. It's got yeah, they have the woods on it. The woods. Just the woods. Well, that's nice. <coughs> Pretty sure. Try when you walk in. Oh, that's great. It's like, but it's expanded. Think of it as expanded. Yeah, you, so, right. back, you should, you guys, there it is. Oh, it hey, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna give it back to you. I'm giving it back to you. Where's your, where's your? It's coming. Do you have a shot? Do you have a shot? Ooh, we got, let's get, Ooh. let's get the glare. Yeah, man. So, did you? I mean, was there? Oh, Mike's here. What's going on, Mike? Was there any, uh, anything you didn't like about the movie? Anything oh, at all? Man, it's weird. It's not that I, if I. Maybe it's my fault for not trying to go in and be, uh, I, I just, I wasn't in a critical mood and it didn't give me a reason it, to get critical. I wasn't either. And again, my, I, my biggest thing here is this, I needed this so much and I enjoyed so much of it. Right. Um, it, it was, it, I mean, the nine, the 94 minutes that it is, right, the right flew length, I agree. by, flew by, which is perfect, which means that it's entertaining. I'm really trying to think. I'm trying to nitpick here. He's got me on a fix. Like, I'm excited about creating a little Eddie Lingle shelf yeah. and just filling it with all the Eddie Lingle films. Oh, yeah. Like, that's if, my sincere uh, applause to you that I really want a little Eddie Lingle shelf. It'd be awesome if in our, in our, in our studio we put like, a little shelf there and put go. like an acrylic lens over like his name. And nice. What is. Actually, do you have a favorite character in this one? Um. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, man. I don't know. Midget's awesome. Dude, I, I, but no, what's his name's great? Uh, what's what's uh, uh, George? Grace Swearing. I'm pretty sure. George. He's got Grace Swearing. Flynn. Bart. I, Bart. Flynn. Bart Flynn. I couldn't get good. Sh- I couldn't get any good images of him. Movie also. Since we're going, let's just go down it. Uh, Tina Grimm. These are the actors and actresses. Tina Grimm. Alex Russo. Molly Miller plays Tiny. The, the she girl. did a great. Oh, great job. Yeah, she was creepy. Just the right amount. The right amount of creepy. Super creepy. Like, look at our triple shot. I love oh, Eddie Angle, he's here. Eddie Angle, man. Uh, uh, congratulations, man, on a film that like refreshed Matt and I. It was like the 
the cleansing we've needed in the last like yeah, month dude. of things we've watched. Well, you may, I don't know if you were here when we said this, but no, I mean, not kidding. 100% truth, 100%. After watching Shazam, Shazam and Endgame, your movie was, what did I say? It was the NyQuil I needed when I had a headache. Right. I'm dead serious about that. Because you have expectations. It was the best 90 minutes of my of, of my week. My wife and I started the movie, I think, at 11 o'clock at night, and we were both having a long day. And I told her, I said, I'm like, I said, how about just a nice slasher film? But, yeah. You know, and it was, either, yeah. but it was. And, and so she's like, ah, we're both kind of like, all right. And I'm like, you know, it could go wrong. It didn't go wrong. And then when you know, when you're tired and tired and you're watching a movie and it keeps you up, there's your review. Yeah. I guess uh, we were wanting to know, Eddie, like, we knew Krampus 2, you didn't really have a budget. I'm pretty sure that's what he said at the time. Um, what was the budget for this one? Curious. Because it feels like there was more expense in this movie. Um, more of... I love that. I love that shot right here. I like the shot. This one. Of us. Oh, oh. well, the triple. Oh, right there, right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at her. She's like, oh, it's like, this is my man. Like, do not mess with me. I'm tiny. And the marketing. Molly well, Miller, man. Yeah, Molly Miller, you did an amazing job. You guys all did it. Like, give yourself an applause. The marketing on this is awesome, too. Awesome. It's a lot of, a lot. Eddie says, awesome. It's a lot of fun. Old school slasher. His budget was 7000 Nice. That's awesome. So yeah. I, I'm curious, like, I, I guess you don't have to say this now, but yeah. one day I'd like to know, like, how just that came about. I think that's a... Man, for like a low budget movie, I think that's a nice budget. You can I, do a lot with it. I want to get. We both want Eddie on. We just have to hit the right time so we can actually yeah. have modern oh, yeah, relax and not like whether it's Skype or. I have a lot, Eddie. I don't know if you caught this. We were both on board about like putting a little shelf in our studio, and we. I really want like the. What's what are those collections called? The criteria. The, no, like the, like when they, the the directors. Director special edition. No, the crit. The, the, you know, it's one of those weird ones. Yum, yum. Eddie oh, Langle, I know. I'm talking about. Yeah. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm going to go to that shot, man. Ready? Gene, <laughs> well, you said it now. I have to go to the shot. Gene. Hey, Gene. Ask Gene if you like the movie. Am I getting the angle right? No, I have to go reverse. You're, you're wrong. All right. Uh, you, got, you got to look at it. Gene, do you like the movie? Oh, yeah. Uh, Eddie, next question. I mean, also, we were talking about inspirations. Because had a very chainsaw Texas chainsaw massacre feel to it with a little uh, sprinkle of Friday the 13th I just want to know if like you were big fans of those movies and then and then went for it and made your own movie because I know you wrote and directed this so that's pretty awesome uh, I have wait here we go on Eddie says I have scar t-shirts for you guys yeah extra oh, large nice man Awesome, awesome, thank you. And then he go. He said yes. I'm assuming to where I just asked. Oh, better him. this, Eddie. Would you? Oh man, I want to give one away, for, like at free conference. What's that? A scar, a t-shirt. Oh, it's someone would like. Nah, I, I kind of want to keep that. Actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah, we can't yeah, get yeah. stuff that we have on hand to give. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm, All right. Kind of, I'm gonna self. So yeah, he said yeah. So Chase, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, thank you, man. And, and Friday Thirteenth were uh, inspiration because we knew Ari Lehman was the little boy from Friday Thirteenth. And then it's on, you know, it's like Candy Lake, and I'm thinking Crystal Lake, and and then uh, Jonah Candy Man with his leather face looking mask. Do you remember Into the awesome. Spider Verse? They said that like, you know, every image they wanted to be a like, screensaver. Yeah, I'm not gonna say to that level that's, that this movie was, but it's some of the more enjoyable graphics I got, like the like the 13 marketing pictures that were like on, on IMDb. Right. Are just nice. Like you see, there's this, a, a nice level of cinematography and. Yep. I, like I enjoy. One. I really enjoyed the cinematography. I enjoyed the story concept, killing the pretty people. I love that. I mean, this is one of those things. I don't know if it was deliberate right. or not. I love that he's wearing the white shirt. He's the hero in. He's the white hat. He because he comes in. That's another thing I love. He he comes in and like tackles the dude. You don't see that too many times. He loses. In the movie. He loses fast. <laughs> he loses fast, but like you gotta give him. He's stoic. Is, oh, good question. Did any I love attack, them as a couple. They're great. Did any attack or kill? surprise you in this movie any attack i'm sure w i i can think of one i remember one that popped out in particular towards the end when the one girl let me get her name i'm pretty sure marley Haley kanitsky played marley uh when she gets captured and she's in that she he throws her on like a bale of hay okay and i was like so confused like then she like she's like is like kind of like she doesn't know if she should run or not and i was like yeah what's he gonna do like he just like goes near a room or the barn and i'm like What's going on? And then, dude, like, no, like, no, like, teasing or anything like that. Literally grabs a hammer, comes back, and just hits her knees. Yes. 
This I mean, it's like it's like that. This it's guy. like you know, it's like in some of these Hollywood movies, they're like, oh, and they'll go, you'll do a close up he, of a hammer, of a knife, of a chainsaw, of a baseball bat, and then it'll show the the killer like with his hand. Oh, what's he gonna pick? Teasing that stuff, and about yada yada yada. Six minutes later, he picks a weapon and then he then he attacks somebody. Where this was, I drop you on hay. I look at you for a second. I go. And I love like it. It's like close up to her. We do medium shot. You kind of see in the background. Close up to her. Wide shot. He comes in and just bang bang. I mean, it was, dude, I loved it. There's no messing around. Every he aspect of it. He walks in a room it. and he walks out with. I mean, he walks out oh, with the body. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I got you. Know what? I do have a question. Another question for Eddie. The mask. I just want to know. I'm curious. His mask is it? Is it supposed to be skin of just people over the years? Is it supposed to be? Just fabricated. Fabric. I mean, things we don't know. It would be great. There's, I, there's a lot we don't know. Like, I mean, just in general. <laughs> Candy don't play. You're right, Candy. Eddie. So, Eddie, can you tell us in the backstory again? Like, was this film? Didn't you say this was originally? It was Candyland, and is it a, a distrib- distribution thing again? Marketing that they changed it. I, we both said I'm pretty sure it was I mean, originally. Sense. Yeah. Be... It's a hard one. I mean, now that I've seen it, and it was scarred, and that was the cover, and the movie went along with it. It's fine. I, I do. Candyland is more provocative Eddie said yes I'm not sure to which question oh okay well Candyland I do like one question at a time Tim. the distinguishing <laughs> well no that's all I want to know is, is it was it you know marketing or... oh it's the, okay, yeah so see, they, they changed it okay yeah they changed it because he's told us that's, that's a problem in the past yeah sometimes in film like you're just your hands are tied you know yeah man um what was I say where's oh oh favorite, we, we brought favorite characters yeah I definitely so definitely George Bart Flynn. I man. like uh, Molly's character. Uh, uh I thought it was Eerie. Molly. Oh, Tiny. Yeah, yeah Tiny was All an right. awesome character. Yeah, distribution changed it. I love one of my favorite scenes too. Is <laughs> so so Eddie. I gotta tell you, I was I'm hooked. Right, we're we're 50, 55 minutes into the movie. I'm hooked, and watching this, watching this. In the case, so I, I'm pretty sure this is right. George, I want to say yes. And then oh, Eddie says everyone loves Tiny. So I'm pretty sure George and Marley, they get away. They're in the car. Yep. They're driving in the SUV. They're super confused at this point. And I was like, okay, they got away. I know that. That's cool. Yeah, they got right. away. I was like, but I was like, what's going on? Because like the killer is like back in the house. I'm like, are they just really going to get away? Like, right. that's and it. Got, right. It looked like they were just clean, smooth sailing, right? And that was not the case at all. And then I'm like, all right. I was like, man, I couldn't, I couldn't, Tim, I couldn't wait to see what happens. I'm like, there's no way they're just going to get away. And so then the gas line gets cut and, <laughs> and, uh, they, who gets out to check? She, uh, this time it was her, right? Cause the first time he checked. Oh, he checked. No, he checked Cause he said, I right. yeah. he, he checks. And then his, cl- his character is funny. And then they go back in the car. They wait. Then the the neighbor drives by, right? Right. So they hop in her car and they're driving down the road. Tiny comes out, her daughter, and she goes out to talk to her. And you know, uh, George and Molly, Marley are just sitting in there. And uh, oh, it's hot Carl. His name is Bo. Okay, so it's not okay, George. Thank you. No. Hot Carl. Uh, okay, thank you. Hot Carl and, and Marley Sorry, are, are driving. We, we, okay, we only watched there it a couple go. hours ago. So yeah, so Hot Carl and Marley. Anyways, so I love it. Hot Carl's like, maybe you should just get in the front seat and drive. So she comes around from the like the back and he's about to get in, in the driver's seat, and the killer comes from out of the woods, and like just starts like just pulls her into the cornfield, and dude, Hot Carl's reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Amazing. He's just like, oh no. Yeah. Right. Man. <laughs> Dude, I, kinda, like, there's no role. You're I don't like, want to be weird, but your da- your dad would have kind of reaction like that. Probably would, man. I could see uh, it. Yeah, like, I don't mean that's like anything. I'm just saying your dad could see like. It. Oh, dude. Oh no, man. I love. Uh, it. And then the wo- the woman comes back in the car, and she, she's like, she's she's like, uh, whatever she says. And then he's like, well, I, I just think it's the two of us now. And she's just like, I know, but I think I know where they're going. I've also no one attempted just to stop him, like from taking yeah. from taking her. <laughs> like it was and, like, oh, let her take her. We'll get her later. Like, and, it, was, it was hilarious. Like, it was, you know, I was laughing so hard. And I think Hot Carl had a good chemistry with all, all the like the models in yeah. the movie, the characters, because so he, they all they all seemed to respect him the same way we respected him as a character. Right. Because he was this entertaining, lovable dude. Like he's hilarious. Eddie says great swearing. Eddie, I love the writing and the dialogue. The swearing. It's I love good impact of swearing that makes me laugh. Eddie says uh, Hot Carl improvised that scene. 
Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 It, it just it flows well. Mm -hmm. Like it's funny because all these pe everyone, if you go on IMDb, there's pe there are people. Because I was I was there looking for images and. You know, I did. I glanced at some of the reviews, and I just, I disagree. You know, I have my, I have my, my criticisms for, like I said, Mother Krampus too. But some of these criticisms, man, they're like, oh, the audio in that scene. And to me, some of them are almost like, it's almost like live music. I'd rather have a good live musician make a few like weird little mistakes and glitchy things, and it makes it feel like that type of genre. Or you're listening to something live. This feels like a perfect campy movie. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, what if what if Eddie Lingle decided, like, I mean, sure, every uh, writer or director would love to get a, a huge amount of money, but that could ruin it. I bet you could ruin this movie by handing someone like, here's seventy five grand. Well, yeah, it's like, and then I mean, all of a sudden there would be the movie wouldn't be ninety two minutes. It would right. be it'd it would be, be one hundred and eleven minutes. Do you have the control, Eddie Lingle? Because I'm telling you, I don't want to surprise you. You know, I don't want it to come out of nowhere. But in this mug, we have a check for you. 75, 75 grand, man. So what would you, if someone hands you 75 grand, Eddie, what do you think the end result of the movie would be? Would your focus be less? Would you just be like, oh, I got some money now. Let's just hire some people. Because like, you know our show, man. We wouldn't be here anymore. I'm like, no, I'm just being an farmer. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, no, I mean, I see that. Yeah, I think, I like think he's still making a good movie. I'm not yeah, trying to be an ass. I'm just saying that it, sometimes. No, I get it. People do a lot well, more. Well, it's like we have more money, so let's add this effect. Like computer effect. Let's add pointless scenes we don't need, and be, it drags things. It drags things out. Like I was saying before, I, I don't need things dragged out. No. I love bam, bam, bam. Oh, the kills in this were so clean and so awesome. Man. He says, "Hmm." He's pondering, man. He's pondering your question. You say no. It's a bad question, man. I'm sorry. I'm so, wasted time with my stupid question. But I know we've always talked about like when you get a certain sponsorship from someone and what you can do with it. And if it all came at once, I think I've seen a lot of web shows get destroyed. I've watched a lot of web shows that got money and they either went under because they tried too many new things and people didn't like it. Well, that's why we refuse. Yeah, all the time. I mean, that hundred grand. We've refused. Uh, yeah. We've refused some unique stuff. Yeah, I mean, yes. Sir. Like we always get weird propositions in attachment with money. If we can't be fifteen minutes late, I want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, that's the whole. That's the fun of being live. Being. 20 minutes what if away, like it was like, hey, away. like we'll give you guys do whatever you want. Here's money, but every show, every single show, you have to clean shave and wear a button up and a tie. No, <laughs> would you what say that? I'm just, be? dude. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If it, what if we had NSMBU show ties? What if we, I said NSMBU we, and you said show? I will give you guys in this Eddie Lingle uh, scarred review. I will give you a little snippet that we actually got a really nice offer for sponsorship once that was completely reliant on blatant nudity. Like, I kept telling them, like, I said, we're okay with the artistic level of, like, you'd have to, like, not show up. But they said, like, what if you ever had to have someone on nude? And I'm like, it's not that we personally care, but we do a comic book-based kind of review-based movie, and we couldn't do it. Like, we both agreed we just couldn't do it. Like, I don't even have that much high of morals. It just doesn't fit the show. Like, they're, like, arguing, like, well, it's artistic. I'm like, I don't... But we still have, like, I know some of our audience is, like, 13-year-olds. And I, mean, I know there's 13-year-old boys out there that would have loved it. Your daughters probably wouldn't be watching the show anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> they know that we could get away with certain things on the show. And my daughters are, you know, they understand how it is. But um, David is still here. He says, when money comes into play, then corporations usually follow and things get, eh. Um, also, losing creative direction and, and everything... It happens a lot with YouTube series. That's from David. Matt Kane is here. Matt Kane says, those, "What up, guys?" Those shots. Don't those shots remind you a little bit of Clerks? Like just something about it. I don't know. Something. Well, it's funny because I was actually Clerks popped in my head when I was watching. Spurs. Isn't that weird? It did for me a few times too. Yeah, I, I mean, it's obviously not nothing like Clerks. It's just it's it, the it's, it's the style of the, it's the of, style or quality of yeah of, yeah. Of I mean, it's, it's it's a it's it's someone putting together a low budget movie and putting their heart and soul into it. it I mean, that's what it is. It's you can feel it. Just like when I watched Clerks, Kevin Smith's first movie, now I'm sure his budget was more than seven grand, but still it has that feel of like the actors are 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 well, you know like too. newer or doing the best they can. It's a low budget. It's it's who you know what I'm saying? Is it is it is it? I, I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. Is is, is this is it a? Uh, do you actually have uh, someone who does? Uh, Lo lo locale hunt hunting they find locale locations for you or do you do it yourself Ooh, you is it a mixed 
Is it, is it, is it, uh, you know, uh, does it take a family to raise a baby? I don't know if that works here. But do multiple people just say, like, hey, we have this great location for that scene? What do they say? Multiple, it, takes no a, it, takes a, it takes a village to raise a baby. Who the hell says that? Don't look at me nuts. I, anyone out there has heard this. It's, it's, only, it's been around forever. I feel like it's not exactly that. You know what it's in? It's in a lot of M. Night Shyamalan movies. Like, he actually uses it a lot in the yeah, movies. Yeah, where's he at? And like, I don't know. What's he, he doing? He did the village. the village. He did the village, man. Yeah, man. Where everybody Come came on, out. How dare you? Anyway, sometimes it does take a village to hey, raise a actually, baby. Actually, side note. But I want to know who. Side I, note. I want to know who did the locales because you have some of the best locales, locations for your shots. I love them. Like, I really love them. They're creepy. They're haunted. They're they're nice. Really quick. Sorry. I never look at that monitor. Ever. Which one? Which monitor? The one to my all the way to my left. I. That's the one I use. Right. I mean, it makes funny. sense. It, it, it's it line makes of sight. Sense. I get it's, it. It's it's here. Back, I, I was back just I just did a round. So, so you're just saying you've never done now. See, I use that monitor. I more. do. I think I just cracked my neck. And you use, so do you use that one? I use that one. No, I actually use these two a lot. I don't use this one much. I mean, I use this one obviously. I, I think my neck just cracked. And then, at that one. Is it distracting you? No, no, no. I just like you. I was like, wow, it was a monitor. I kind of like it. When I look into my camera, I use that camera to, to look for line of sight. Anyway, you should put little monitors right here. The locale at Eddie Mac Langle, I think a great locale. Matt Cain says um, the movie has uh, raw quality. Oh, like, did he see it? Matt Cain watched that. That's awesome. I guess so, man. Maybe, maybe he knows him. Yeah, I guess so. Also, some of the local people, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to do schedule again. Yeah, do the schedule, man. Let's do the schedule again. So you guys know what's going on. Uh, we are reviewing yeah, Eddie Langle's film, Scarred. He's he's uh, a local writer and director, Eddie Langle. We're becoming... Extreme fans to the point where we want to shelf and we want to start collecting all of his films. Saturday, May 4th, this Saturday, free comic book day. May the 4th be with you. It'll be us at North Coast Nostalgia. Get your free books. Get the stuff you have to pay for, too. Get off at 480. Go south on Ridge Road, the suburb right outside of Cleveland, Parm, Ohio. It's on Ridge of Snow, North Coast Nostalgia. Adam will be there. Matt will be there. I'll be there. Maybe Matt Cain will be there. I don't know. But a lot of people that love comics and like, you know, a good time with good people will love it. And plus, Matt and I will be there, too. You might not like us. A lot of people online don't like us lately. <laughs> no, I don't. But we'll be there. And we're, there's going to be a giveaway. And then we're going to reveal that giveaway. We're going to be pulling the names, drawing them jokers. on Sunday, May 5th. Shazam! <laughs> There's another Re one. Review. Jesus. Comic book day giveaway. We'll be drawing the names on Sunday. So remember, guys. Yeah, just so everyone knows, Here. Saturday. North Coast. Nostalgia. <coughs> Suburb of Cleveland, Parma. Get off of 480. South on Ridge. Ridge Road. Snow Road. It's at that intersection. North Coast Nostalgia. Here, while we keep talking, I'll play some clips from last year. I'll play that next oh, to have us. Them. You have them? That's yeah. last year. Tell us if there's like blowing out audio. There shouldn't be any audio on that. Boom. That's last year's footage. Yeah, man. Just so we were clear. Yes. Saturday. Saturday. We're not doing a live show. We are not doing a live show. We'll be there at. Yeah, we'll just be there at the North Sunday Coast Sunday's live show. Just a little clarification. Thank you. Uh, Matt Kane says he will be there. FCBD. Oh my God. Bring in my son Logan for the for his first FCBD. Nice, man. That's a, dude. He's the one that gives. Hold us, on a second. He gives Mr. Flockers, right? Hold Matt on. Kane? His son's name is Logan Kane. He, that, oh. Wow. If, wow. That what a name. If they sold a sugar that I could buy, it'd be Logan Kane sugar. Dude. Like if, it, right. That would be the sugar I'd buy. Dude, if my grandpa could get a Logan Kane, he'd probably not need it yeah. because it'd make him walk perfectly. Matt Kane also, so people know, Matt Kane purchased a. This, this, this. We have a magnet behind us named Mr. Flockers. It's a bobbled-headed bird. It's broken. We still have to fix it. But I kind of like it broken. I don't like the. I don't like changing history and taking that risk because you don't know what you can ruin. But, Speaking of not taking risks. Yes. Watch, watch the movie. Watch Scarred. I think we we were about to get out of here. Here it is. Scarred. Eddie Eddie Langle directed it and wrote it. Uh, great cast. Great cast. Great soundtrack, by the way. Great soundtrack. Love music. Can we get the soundtrack? Is it available? Yeah, actually, that's a good question. And um, Love the locale. I think it's a solid cast. I think that it's the perfect flow for a campy film. 
we really enjoyed it after watching Endgame and after being oh, exhausted God, reviewing so things it, like man. we have Shazam coming up. Oh, just I just feel it. like this movie is is par with expectations. Oh. It's yeah, I see warnings. I don't know what that meant. What's that? It was some new thing my computer was telling me. Oh. It's like, hey, something's going on. Remember when we saw the first Avengers and we ate all that sugar and we had ICs and all that one stuff? Of, one of that? my... Yeah, it's one of my favorite. We, we, okay. we, we did the package. I don't up. know about you, but okay. the next day... Dude, I, I just needed... I needed 300 ounces of water. I felt terrible. Like, I was like, wow, sugar hangover. This what, movie was my 300 what, ounces of water. What did you have water. during this deep? I'll tell you what. Here, here's another good what thing. What I have what? I want to ask you. Did you oh, eat did, anything watching uh, the movie? Because I... I can tell you yeah. something about that too. Yeah, I had a I had an ice cold Coke Zero in the can. I didn't pour I didn't pour it in a glass, and I had a, I had a, a unsalted mixed mixed nuts from right from the jar, and I like them because there's like soft chewy chewy stuff in there. Here's here's a little uh, here's a little subtle thing about me, a little fact. Um, when it comes to movies, if I'm not really into a movie. I, I kind of should be pissed at him a little bit. So I started watching the movie. If I'm, not, if I'm not really into it, I won't, I won't like bunker down and get into it. But if I really like a movie, I stop the movie and I'll actually get okay. up and get food and drink, beverage. So it's eleven. It's like eleven, like eleven fifteen. We start watching a movie. And I told April, I said, "Wait, let me just stop." I said, "This movie's turning out a lot better than I thought it was going to be." So I'm like, I went and got some like salsa chips and with Greek yogurt dip, and I pulled out Mountain Dew at eleven thirty at night to like watch Eileen was Phil. I thought I was like. Just gonna relax. I'm like, okay, let's see what this thing's gonna be like. Let's see what it's gonna be like. So, I think we're gonna get out of here, but I wanna say, and I'll say why. I'm gonna give this movie out of 10. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a 9.5. Why the 0.5, you ask? I actually, I wasn't, I was fine. I wasn't a big fan of the ending. I like, I like the, the fish hooks in the face. I, oh, that was one of the best. That was, was beautiful. Amazing. And that's when you heard her echo voice about only pretty I, people. To- I almost needed like two more minutes of movie. Like um, I needed like, I was like, wow, like, what just happened? Because they were all just standing no. looking at you, her. See, what you just told me made gave me the one from 9 for 9.5 to me because I forgot how great that scene was. And I liked the movie. I love the that. scene. I love the scene. Was, I felt like they were all just looking at her. And I'm like, wait, is he, is, is John Can- jo- Jonah Can- Candy going to gonna kill him? It's, or like, does he not care, like about them? Like I was thinking, this is Hot Carl considered sexier than Jonah Candy to him, to uh, Jonah, to Jonah Candy? So would he is is Hot Carl not a threat? I, I think it's a I th- I just yeah I think that it's just a. And great. then is that also why he didn't kill the old neighbor? Because like she's you know to him maybe she's not like attractive, so he's right. like well she's fine. So they're alive. I think, and I think it followed the rules pretty well as far as pretty people. Yeah, I was just curious. I say, hey, dude, it's it's nitpicking. I mean, it's nitpicking. I, I I just wasn't expecting credits. I expected to see him see. get an axe and just like chop them all up. And I, I'm sorry, man. When people are talking about criticizing the lighting in that, I want to see what these people are doing because some of the lighting is this is just really nice. Like, there's just really nice shots. It's really good marketing with the movie. The marketing fits the movie well. I like right. that. And I mean, and then it's got the the face value look. You got you got gorgeous girls that have that have acting chops going through on a nice campy film. Hey, did you see Robbie Barnes in it? Right in the beginning, she's from Mother Krampus. Yes, yes. She wasn't yes, she the detective in Mother we, Krampus too? Yeah, we we. It's funny because most of the people we were looking up as we were watching it, and uh, she's one of the ones that we we're like, yeah, we know the name. Yeah, she's she plays Dara Flynn. She's in the beginning. She's like the sister looking for her sister model sister. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, you guys need to see this movie. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime. It's at. Did you get? Did he send this to us? Yeah. Is it's it at is our it, studio? Is it at Walmart? Uh, here's the thing. It's. It. I think Eddie Lingle was showing on like social media that you could find it at Walmart. Our Walmart in our little suburb here does not carry it at their store location. You have to order online. So we're we ordered one. So if that doesn't come, maybe we can just watch it like you know yeah, Amazon you Prime go. or something. But I like opening up the case, man. I'm still a case person. I oh, want to yeah. open it and I want to look I at agree. it. I agree. It was just very convenient for me to do Amazon Prime no, I, this I time hear, around. I, I hear you. Uh, but it's there. Amazon Prime, Walmart's, you know, maybe it's at the library. You guys need to watch it. It's a, it's a good, easy slasher watch. 92, three minutes, whatever. Something like right around there. Great, great soundtrack. It's a good time, man. I was actually at uh, North Coast today talking about setting up for uh, free comic book day. And I was actually talking about this film with a lot of people there. And it's funny, we went back and forth and exchanged a couple of movies. And 
Yeah, it's funny when you find all the contacts and people that know each other. Someone at the North Coast actually knows, um... Um... Roger. Roger. Roger O'Connor. Connor O'Connor or Connor? Roger, Roger Connors. Connors. Someone knew, knew you, Roger, and uh, they're familiar with Eddie Lingle's so films. And, uh, yeah, it was fun to talk about that. I'll, I'll play again. The North Coast will be doing a free comic book day. What are you doing, man? Hey. I'm not showing you. What are you doing? You're doing something bad. No, no. It's, are you it's doing something good, man? man? Oh, it's T3, too. Okay, he's like... There's some North Coast... Oh, and... Yeah. Uh, he's like, Roger Connors. Yeah, Roger Connors. <laughs> <laughs> Connor. <laughs> I Connor. Forgot, I forgot I had that mug. Maybe I stole that one from you, too. Yeah, Ooh, Connor. Man. Come with me. If you want Mother Crabbers 3, Connor. Uh, and <laughs> speaking of local talent, um, right. the creator of Apama, no, the comic book creator of Apama, he's been in uh, North Coast. Uh, oh, good. Not a good local artist. So, yeah, come see, us, right, on, come see us on well, Free yeah. Comic Days. We both, uh, 9 out of 5, 9.5. 9.5 out, out of 10. 10. Yes. Yeah, that's an A. So, and then David just says he's he's leaving. We're leaving too. Yeah, we are too. Uh, he's going to check out the movie and. I have friends who love these types of films. Well, that's good. You should watch it. It's a great movie. Uh, Eddie, thanks for sending it out. Thanks for giving us this, this great NyQuil of a reliever. That's a good thing. It didn't put us to sleep. It just uh, helped us with the headache after Endgame. And we really appreciate that. Yeah, again, Saturday, North Coast. Nostalgia. Free comic book day. We're going to be there. Uh, you can get some good stuff. It's in Parma, Ohio, if you want to. Not from Ohio. Hopefully, I have State State. Yeah, whatever. If you're trapping me traveling, <laughs> yeah. know, they're coming yeah, from California. Yeah, I'd, dude, would you, I'd be amazed. I'm like, man, I'm from Minnesota. I came here for Adam. I'm like, oh, <laughs> all right, man, thanks. Uh, yeah, we'll be there. And then Sunday, we'll be giving away some stuff. Um, wait, we're doing the raffle again, right? People from North Coast. Can yeah, raffle yeah, it off. Okay. They, they spend so much money, they get a ticket. Yeah, they that's put awesome. It in our thing. And then uh, we're doing a Shazam review. <laughs> Shazam. Here. It's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Those wonderful toys. Shazam, man. Yeah, just say Shazam. <laughs> we should put, we're Power Rangers. <laughs> when you put your fist together. Earmuffs. They can say fuck, shit, bitch, Shazam. whatever you want. So. It's funny. I'll, I'll give you a little spoiler. 75% and he says Shazam and then everything changes. Here is a question, Tim. <laughs> Shazam or Endgame? <laughs> it's, it's hard. People are going to be so mad that I say it's, that. It's hard. It's no because joke. Because you, I, I, I grade things on what they're supposed to be. Yeah. That's how, I, that's how you have to grade things. Here we things. go. Yeah, let's do right, random oh, button. No. Random button for Shazam. Random button for Shazam. <laughs> Oh! Alright, that's two. What the hell are you doing? No. Well, I use my powers and that's what happens. Uh, this has been all brought to you guys by uh, uh, the Not So Much But Us show, Active Attic Studios. That's our, our bench shot or our edit station shot. Uh, yeah, Thanos snapped his fingers and that's what we have left. Yeah, we'll be, we'll, we'll be at uh, Free Comic Book Day uh, Saturday, yeah. Saturday. And then Sunday night, our live show, 8 p.m., we're going to be here. Thank you for tuning in. Go watch Scarred. Eddie Langle, director, writer. There's like a whole study cast and a great director. I mean, boy, there is. And then great soundtrack. We're out of here, man. We are out. We'll see you sun Saturday or Sunday or both. Scarred. One more time. One more where is it at? It's everywhere, man. Here we go. Let's get this one last time. Find it, Tim. Find, Find it. One more time here. Yeah. Okay, you I'm just changed the over. background, Tim. Oh, look at that. Right there. All right, that's nice. There it is. And I could show a graphic of Scar. Yeah. <laughs> hey, right. Now that's more exciting though. I like uh, see some glare. You know, some fingernails in it. Come on. All right, man. Great, great job, everybody, for this. See you film. guys. We'll see ya. We'll Sunday or Saturday. Yeah, we'll wave it. Yeah. There we go. Pop my mic, my headphones to you. Well, I'm about to drown us out with some loud Sony. music. It's loud music time. Scarred!